2025 could be an explosive year for researchers at Oregon State University. They're predicting an undersea volcano called Axial Seamount will erupt sometime this year. Reporter Wright Gasway sat down with one of the experts behind that prediction to learn more. Where is this volcano and how did it form? Right. So this is an underwater volcano called Axial Seamount. It's located about 300 miles offshore, pretty much due west of Astoria. So it takes about a day to get out there on a ship. The summit is almost a mile underwater. So if you were out there on a ship and it erupted, you probably would never know it because uh, there's no impact on the surface uh, unless you dangled a hydrophone on, uh, into the water and were listening for the sounds coming from it. It's about a mile beneath the surface. So what kind of tools are you using to uh, monitor it? Right. So because it's so active, it's attracted a lot of scientific attention. So it's probably the best monitored submarine volcano in the world. And that's because uh, the National Science Foundation has funded a cabled observatory out there. So there's a cable that goes from Pacific City all the way out to Axial Seamount, and it has a bunch of monitoring instruments plugged into the cable. So the amazing thing is I can look at data that was collected 10 minutes ago from Axial Seamount on my laptop. So it's pretty unique in that way. I also want to say that Axial Seamount is a pretty benign volcano in that it pretty much has no impact on humans. So there's we don't have to worry about a tsunami coming from there, or we don't have to worry about an eruption out there affecting the Cascadia subduction zone where we worry about large earthquakes along the coast. It's, it's far enough away and deep enough that is not going to impact us humans living on the coast. Uh -huh. So we don't have to worry about that and how we can forecast their uh, activity. Magma is accumulating beneath the surface and we can actually measure the seafloor rising as that happens. So, it, and this, this cycle of inflation and deflation is pretty large. It's, um, the seafloor sea will go up and down between eight and 10 feet between eruptions. So that's, it's pretty easy to measure something that large. And so we're, uh, what happens is between eruptions that it, the seafloor rises very gradually, uh, and then enough pressure builds in that magma reservoir that it, uh, the magma forces its way to the surface eventually through a crack and erupts on the seafloor, and then a lot, lots of magma is erupted, and then the, uh, so then the seafloor goes back down. So it's got this inflation deflation thing that inflation is very gradual the deflation is really sudden when during an eruption those two things we're looking at the ground movement and also the number of earthquakes both of those things seem to point to it's building up to its next eruption how close do you hope to get with this estimated eruption well my current eruption window is sometime in 2025 so i've got a, a year-long window 